Oh yeah. Uh, the lines might rain from Canoe Wales. I'm just sat in a, an eddy on the side of the Chuerin. I'm, I'm not actually in the water. You can probably tell that from the picture, but it, it's lovely just sitting here looking around at, at what there is that tells me a story about this place. Just, just have a look at some of these things. There's a whole range of mosses growing on these rocks. How do they manage to grow on the rocks? There's nothing, no nutrients on a rock. There's, you can't put roots down into a rock. It's bare, solid rock. You, you know, it's hard rock. And what they do is, root, is moss doesn't actually have any roots, no roots at all. It gets all its moisture, all its nutrients from the air around it. So that's how the moss managed to cling on, cling on to the rocks despite whatever the river's doing and it, it's just incredible really and maybe we should just appreciate them a little bit more and then if I look up there's obviously another species of moss here growing on the tree trunks and I've just said moss doesn't have roots so it's clinging onto this tree trunk this is a much drier environment like the moss is hanging on in there collecting its nutrients and moisture from the air and it's doing such a good job that further up can you see here there's some ferns we call these epiphytic ferns and these are these have got roots not great roots not as good as roots on some of the more developed seed plants but they've got roots and their roots are in the moss so the moisture that the moss is collecting, the fern is sharing, and they're looking pretty sad at the moment because it hasn't been raining a lot. The whole thing is quite dry, and it goes into something called biostasis and just waits, like a paddler, for the rain to come back.